Okay, welcome back, everybody. We got our, our, our second, our last two Fab Five girls basketball players today. Um, the Daily News Fab Five, something the first time we're doing this, and uh, I, I know these two very well because they've been a part of uh, the uh, Livingston Conference as long as I've been over there. And uh, I didn't, luckily, during my coaching days at Geneseo, I didn't have to see a lot of them because they were already on varsity. So, um, but I got to tell you, I saw enough of them on varsity and two excellent players. First on, the, on my right is Jill Flint from uh, Caledonia Mumford, and on my left is Julia Mertzak. Uh, in my opinion, you know, probably the two best players in Livingston County this year. Um, and uh, first, Jillian. Jillian was my actually my player of the year for the Livingston County News this year, something she's really worked hard on. A two-time Section 5 champion, um, the all-time leading scorer in Calmum history, boys or girls, uh, a true competitor. Jill, just talk about this season and how enjoyable it was with, with, with your group. Um, yeah, we had a really fun group this year. A lot of seniors, so we've all been growing up together playing basketball in the summers and JV and through varsity. Um, obviously, it didn't turn out the way we wanted to, but I thought we had a really successful season. We worked hard and um, thought we improved a lot, but just didn't turn out the way we wanted to. That South Seneca game, I was there, you know, at uh, Rush Henrietta, and the defending state champs, you had them on the ropes. You had them. You just didn't get that knockout punch at the end. Um, but you, you played with them, and you, you knew that you were as good as them. You know, uh, just talk about that game, you know, just the, the physicality and the up-tempo of that game. Yeah, I mean, their press definitely wears you down, and um, they're very aggressive, which gets you in foul trouble, which me and Hannah both face that. Um yeah, they were really aggressive. I was really proud of my team, though. You know, we hung with them the entire time, even though I wasn't in the game, like, the entire second quarter. And also Hannah getting in foul trouble. So, yeah, it was a tough game, but, you know. Big part of that game was when you hit a three, I remember. And I remember seeing the, the South Seneca coach yelling at her kids, and all of a sudden they went to a box and one to, to kind of slow you down a little bit, which they did. And then their press, like you said, wore, wore your team down a little bit. But, you know, what a great career you guys have had especially you, you know, two-time Section 5 MVP. Um, talk about Cal, the, your experience at Cal Mom basketball playing for Coach Reed. Um, I mean, at Cal Mom in general, I think there's just uh, an expectation to win. We have so many sectional titles and all sports. So, um, yeah, I mean, Mr. Reed's always pushed us. He's been a lot of fun, and um, we've been really supporting each other. Julia, I tell you, you're a junior. you still got another year left, and I know the one question that you probably get asked a lot <laughs> Is when you guys going to get over the hump? I know you've been you've been close, real close. Mm -hmm. This year, no closer. Two points this year to Gananda. Um, you had a great year. You you were the Livingston Conference Division Two champions. You beat Calmum twice. Um, just talk about that last game with Gananda. Well, we went into the game kind of. I don't know if looking at the next game, we were like, okay, like we can do this. Like we've worked so hard for this, but. For one quarter, they kept us to zero points, and usually we can come back from that, but we just fell short, and it was pretty exciting. It seems like the, the game plan is pretty pretty simple, is to try to clog it up as much as they can with you. Gananda certainly did a good job of that, making sure that you didn't get any easy looks. They paid a lot of attention to you. Of course, you have Kelsey Hastings, which is a really great player for you guys as well on the outside, but they, they you know it seems like they, their goal is to slow you down. You know, mm -hmm. Did that work? Honestly, yeah, it did. They had one or two players in my face the whole entire game, and if we can work the ball, we like Kelsey definitely stepped up a ton, driving, getting a ton of points, but we just fell short and it wasn't. It's no no uh, no secret that what a great season you guys have had though this year. Nineteen one in the regular season, uh, number one seed. Uh, you got pretty much your whole team coming back. Uh, you're, you're right now. You're, you know, I, I'm looking at you as, you know, a couple hundred less, less than a couple hundred points away from setting the school record. I know you're not about <laughs> records or nothing, but you know, you, you've had, what a great career. Just talk about getting up to this point in your career. Definitely started from when I was young, just playing JV in eighth grade and being able to be moved up in ninth grade and working with the same girls throughout everything throughout AU since little kid basketball and. Just been a team effort. You know, it's funny. My, my coaching days at Geneseo, I remember talking to Coach Sanderson, and he said, I got these two little seventh graders that are probably going to come up with me pretty soon, <laughs> yeah. talking about you and Kelsey. 
you know, I, that first year, I know you guys struggled 4-14 four that first year. Mm-hmm. Uh, 52 and 14 since. Uh, that's, that's pretty impressive. And we're not talking about an average league. We're talking about the Livingston Conference. That's good basketball. You know, talk about next year how important it would be to get this, this block. Oh, it's definitely important and hoping it will happen. Um, I think we worked really hard for it, and we don't deserve to lose like we did again. You guys have played a lot of games against each other. You know, how, how much are you going to miss that rivalry with, with – uh, I know you guys are friends and all that stuff off the court, and you guys have – you know, the competitiveness that you guys have had on the court. Um, well, I don't re- think in college I'm ever going to face the amount of, like, competitiveness that the team shares with West Forest, the amount of times that we've played them, so I'm really going to miss that. Cause it was a lot of fun, and, um, yeah. <laughs> how about you, Julie? How is it going to be feel, you know, not game planning to stop? How are you going to stop playing? How is that going to happen? How are we going to do it? Um, honestly, kind of a relief. Because <laughs> going into Kyle Mama was always like, stop, Julie, and, like, and next year it'll probably be a relief. <laughs> Well, that's great. I tell you, it's going to be it's going to miss you a lot, Jill. You're the only senior on our Fab Five, so the other four are returning. So hopefully, we're going to have a whole bunch of people in the Glow Region step up next year to try to take your spots and and uh, and uh, compete with you guys on and off the court. And it's been great having you guys here. So thank you for being here.